In this training, I'll be covering System Snapshot Machine Accuracy Issues 3D. When investigating machine accuracy issues in 3D, it is important to understand that providing just a ZSnap may not provide all the information needed. A ZSnap only provides information where the machine has calculated its position. From just a ZSnap, it is not possible to confirm if this calculated position is correct. To determine if the machine position is accurate, an independent reference must be provided with the ZSnap to compare the machine calculated position with the actual position on site. The machine positions from the ZSnap, northing, eastern and elevation, and the survey positions can be compared to check the machine position accuracy to assist in diagnosing the problem. If using a rover to check against the machine, ensure the machine and the rover are using the same base station design and site calibration. Depending on the problem and the machine being investigated, may require specific machine positions or locations on the machine to be compared with surveyed positions. Before recording blade tip positions, refer to the machine specific measure up and sensor calibration validation guide when checking stationary blade accuracy. When checking machine positions, by orientating the machine facing north, south, or east, west, can assist in understanding the positional error on the machine. If the error is forward or backward of the cutting edge, or left or right of the bucket or blade tip. It is important to organize any data sent to support. Sending multiple Z snaps and test data together with no context can increase the time in diagnosing an issue. It can take hours and days sorting through the information. It may not be possible to match the correct ZSnap with the correct test data. Important information may be missed. Using a simple test plan can assist in documenting positions recorded and ensuring the survey data is matched with the correct ZSnap. A test plan can be as simple as an entry in a notebook and the information entered into a Word document, spreadsheet or even a table. The information must be clear and easy to understand. Here's an example of a simple test plan, showing the fault description, date and time, machine details, project information, test description. The machine positions for the left and right blade tips are recorded, including northing, easting and elevation. The survey positions of the left and right blade tips are also recorded. The ZSnap name taken with the machine in the test position. A second machine position was checked and added to the test plan. The left and right blade tip positions are recorded. The survey positions of the blade tips are also recorded. The ZSnap name taken with the machine in second position was also added. The differences between the machine positions and the survey positions from each test have been compared and results added to the test plan. Any additional data, including pickup files, has also been recorded. Take the time while on site to record and organise the data. Incomplete or incorrect data may cause the test results to be inconclusive or invalid. It may not be possible to diagnose the issue, requiring additional site visits and additional machine downtime. Plan each test. Document and review the data from each test before progressing to the next test while the information is fresh. Ensure the correct ZSnap corresponds with the correct survey data. Organize the data from each test in separate folders. Getting accurate test data will save time in the long run.